Hi, we're going to be taking a look at the FRQ um, about grocery store wait times and checkout times. And uh, it's all based on the number of customers online. So the first thing that you see right here is a scatter plot. So as soon as you see the scatter plot, and especially as soon as you see the computer output, you know you're working with linear regression. Now, for part A, it says identify and interpret in context the estimate of the intercept. So we know by looking at that, the intercept is 72.95. Now, it doesn't say anything about the slope. Don't interpret the slope too, just interpret the y-intercept because otherwise they might grade it as parallel solutions and then you would not necessarily get credit. So, um, interpreting the y-intercept is the when situation, when the x is zero. So, that means for this particular problem is when there are no people in line or when there are zero customers in line. So, there needs to be the concept of zero Okay, no people is the same thing as zero. Um, I'm waiting in line, okay, in front of the customers. All right, so there's the X variable. Um, my person says we would be expect them. All right, so expect them, that means the predicted. So I'm going to give credit for the predicted um, number, amount of time that it takes to finish checkout. So that means that the uh, Y variable, which is the time it takes to check out, check, is... The y-intercept is the 72.95, and then there needs to be an x units right here, which is going to be seconds. Now, I think I forgot one check. So when the number of customers in line, so there needs to be when there are zero people or customers, there needs to be a check for the um, x unit. So when there are, okay, when the number of customers in line is equal to zero customers, um, there is a predicted, okay, the predicted number of amount of time that it takes to check out is 72.95 seconds, and that is going to give complete credit for this particular problem. So that means there are seven checks right here, okay, so my person got seven out of seven um, for this particular problem, all right, so go back to your um, template for your uh, y-intercept. Now, B says, identify and interpret in context the coefficient of determination R squared. All right, so we're interpreting R squared. So when you look at it, remember, you are never going to use the adjusted R squared. And there, we're just waiting for you to make a mistake here. But 73.33% is what we're going to start off with. So do you have 73.33% of the variation check in the Y, which would be checkout time, can be explained by, so I usually use the word explained by, um, this person used accounted for by, so that gives you a check, a linear relationship check um, with, uh, in this case, with the X, which is the number of customers in line. So I am going to X through that right there. Okay, that is not, um, it is, some textbooks use that solution, that is not what ours does. Okay, so I'm going to cross that out. So um, blank, blank, blank percent of the variation in the Y can be explained by a linear relationship with the X. That's what I'm looking for. There are six checks right there. My person got six out of six. I'm tempted to sort of negate that last one right there because you know Y can be explained by X. Uh, um, I think I've got it. So that means that was going to be worth six checks. Now C, the last one right here, it says one of the data points is determined to be an outlier. It says circle the point on the scatter plot. That's the first thing that you have to do is circle the point. And the second thing is explain why that point is an outlier. Now, I actually graded this question on the AP. This is from 2018. This was one of my assigned questions that I graded hundreds upon hundreds of these particular questions. It was really easy to get the circle check. Obviously, from this, if you circle this one right here, you're going to get your first check. And that actually meant that you got half credit on this particular part C. It was a lot harder to get the explanation as to why this is an outlier. So what I'm looking for here in this particular answer, now my person, um, uh, I'm going to say got credit for checking. So check, because I've already shown that. And that the second part, the explain why, what I need to see is a uh, sort of like a, an EST, an E-S-T, it has the big guest residual is probably the best answer for this, okay? Um, it is the farthest point from the regression line, okay? 
So my person says it's an outlier because it does not follow the pattern that the rest of the data points is. Because it mentions this all the rest, it compares it to all the other points, there is sort of a superlative involved there, this person is going to get credit for this particular problem. But if you said it was farther, then the um, uh, farther away from the line, farther is not enough. It has to be a superlative. You have to make sure that you say it's the farthest away from the line. It has that big est residual. So my person did compare it to the rest, so they do get full credit for this particular problem. There are two checks right here. My person got two out of two. So on this particular problem, there are 15 available points. All right. So out of 15, put the number that you got. Okay. My person got them all right, so they got 15 out of 15. Unbox it, and that would be the end of grading this question from 2018.